Growing up, I've always had a problem throwing things away. Now, I, it got to a point where I just had enough and I need to make sure all my data and all my stuff gets backed up. I'm afraid that if I lose it, I don't know how to get it back. So in today's video, we'll be building a NAS or what I would like to call it a home server. A home server is basically a small PC that backs up all my data in real time. So come with me to build this all white NAS, AKA a all white home server, and I'll tune in to the later video what I've added to make sure that my, none of my data gets lost. So hope you enjoyed this video. Dude, this is clean. Look at this, look at this. It's much bigger than I looked from the pictures, but like, I thought it would be smaller. But I think this is like the perfect size. Yeah, I think this is like the perfect size. Everything that I would need is gonna be stored in this small little PC and... Dude, it's just so clean. Look at that wood grain interior. Uh, it's like so, it's so nice. How you wanna do ASMR again? Like, how, how you wanna do ASMR? To me, I, I still don't understand what ASMR is. It, to me, it's just a bunch of noise that you just make. I don't know what triggers you, but yeah. So this is the John's Boat N4 in white, and it's small. It's a small form factor, which means it's a small PC versus my original PC, which you could see here. And then I'll, uh, that was an all ASUS build um, in all white as well. So it's going to match the aesthetic of the same in my PC, but it's going to be. This is just for backing data and having my own home theater. So for the build, we are going to be going with a B70 Pro RS uh, DDR4 uh, AS Rock motherboard. And it is equivalent to 14th gen because the 12 through four, 12, 13, 14, and allegedly 15 is gonna have the same 1700 chipset. I, I don't, I, I don't, like, I really don't understand how, why people think like that, that's appealing or that. So regarding about the motherboard, it is a smaller motherboard. Don't drop it, don't drop it, do not drop it. We went with the 12th gen instead. So it just, it can do just as much. Um, apparently, again, this is supposed to be an all white build. However, assumingly white case or white box, white motherboard, it actually comes in silver. Um, from what the comments and reviews were saying, so let's check it out for ourselves. It's in this small little plastic wrap. Some say it's, it's cute because it's it's really small. So again, this has a, these are 2.0, this is a 3.0. This has your USB-Cs, you have a whole bunch of motherboards, you have your uh, 2.5 gigabit, two point, it goes up to 2.5 gigabit ethernet cable and your HDMI cable as well, and your display port cable. So. So we're gonna put everything in here. We can still get away with a one terabyte when building this. So we're gonna put that in right now. Hello? Okay, that sucks. Um, one sec, I need to get a, uh, a screwdriver to actually fit. So again, we are going with a i5 12th gen, 1200K, 12600K. So. This is always so fucking scary because I always feel like I'm gonna fucking drop it. So this is the RAM that we're using. I guess it's a Skywalker. It, I'm not sure if it's a collaboration with Luke Skywalker or like the Star Wars series, but it's called the Skywalker Plus uh, in the 32 gigabit. So it looks like this. And allegedly it's gonna be see-through. It's gonna be see-through through there. 
feels so premium, dude. It feels so nice. Um, okay. Dude, I'm so fucking, I always fucking feel like I'm gonna break this. So this is what you call an HBA card. So it looks like this. And it's basically an adapter. So for your hard disk drive. So if you want to extend, cause uh, mine does hold eight hard disk drives, you could extend this to like four. The final piece is the fan. So as we know, when if you're building a PC, you go AIO or all in one, you could go um, your water cooler or you could do an air fan. Um, apparently, for this specific case, the height of the fan has to be under three inches. And luckily enough, I ordered this fan from John's Bow itself from through AliExpress, and it came in less than like four days, which I'm surprised. Um, look how tiny this fan is. Like this, it's the size of my palm. Yeah, so it's the HP 400. If you were to go on AliExpress, it's only $20. John's Bow HP 400S in non-RGB. So I chose non-RGB for price differences because again, like it gets to a point where it's like, you want to be just simple and like minimalistic. So I chose this fan. So now we just gotta install everything and put it back together and we're on the races. So now we're gonna be installing the fan. Appreciate, actually it comes with a small little tiny thermal paste which is cool because it saves me a trip to Micro Center because Micro Center is actually a couple miles away from me. Remove this. So it unveils the copper. It's literally just pop it off. Again. So this is actually the hard disk drive right here. It's better just to buy it used because um, buying a brand new NAS hard disk drive is really expensive. Yeah, so this is the 10 terabyte hard disk drive. Okay, so with a power supply, we went with the ASUS uh, low-key 850 watt platinum we have a white aesthetic we want to have a white psu and the small psu look how tiny this is now mind you this is a really expensive uh power supply food for thought if you're gonna have an all white build you're gonna have an all white psu look how tiny this is jesus here's a close-up Ooh, this looks nice. Has like a chrome finish. I had to buy a extendo or a shorter cable. So this is what the cable looks like. Um, this is basically gonna go back of the case. Um, again, I will list everything at the bottom. But for now, we're, we are gonna install the HBA card uh, inside here. So let's remove the top put it like right in this slot. So the parts came in today, the thing that I was missing, uh, basically the part was missing was a small little bracket. Because I have small form factor PC case, it needs a, a low profile one. This is actually used for a normal ATX or a normal PC size build. 
However, mine is very smaller, so it needs to be basically cut in half. But on Amazon, it's only like six bucks for a replacement. So we're gonna install that right now. Just off the rip. Twice as the size. Basically, we have to connect these four cables right here into these ends right here. All right, know how this goes. Turn your shit on for the first time. Just don't like that, but this fails. Oh. The back, the, the switch on the back. Oh. You was already like, damn, hey, damn, damn. Oh. Oh, okay. let's go. Let's go. Okay. okay. But first, you should probably get that big one done. So as you can see here, all my data is being backed up and the app that I'm using is called Image. So in real time, whenever I take a photo with my iPhone or um, take a video of something with my phone, it will capture it in real time. I'm gonna end the video on what you think if you were ever to decide on building your own home server. If you do wanna build the same or a replica of what I just created, I will leave all descriptions down below. So having my own server, this is just one of the features it can do. So I'm super excited that all my data is gonna be backed up in real time. There are multiple things that I wanna to do to my home server. So tune in uh, in the later videos for that. Uh, I appreciate you staying to the very end and I'll see you guys next time.